iRacing Rain is finally here. I've been waiting for it for a long time and I'm sure you guys have as well. I'm gonna give you my professional racing driver experience perspective on what Rain feels like. This isn't a setup guide. If you want one of those, you can check out some of the other content creators from iRacing, but this is gonna be a perspective from a professional driver's point of view. And I'm gonna let you know ultimately if the rain feels realistic, which is what we all wanna know. So I'm gonna wear these Bones gloves while I'm uh, running you through it. You can get them on moreadness.com. It's a shameless plug, but let's jump in the sim and I'll walk you through what I think about the game. All right, let's hit the track. This is some of the most fun you're gonna have, in my opinion, in racing. A lot of other games have this like rain effect, the visuals, but they don't actually do the rain properly. And this is something I've been really anticipating. I'm sure everyone in the iRacing community has been anticipating as well. Just the rain and how good it's gonna be. In my opinion, this is incredibly realistic. I just find that in terms of the way the puddles appear on the track, I've driven Sebring in the rain and it's legit exactly the same. Where the puddles are forming, it's identical. Uh, the line that we're gonna be driving around here, it's also like literally, literally identical. You need to drive off the rubber, break off the rubber so it's not so slippery. You know, if you, We'll get into this in another video. I'm gonna guide, I'm gonna teach all of you guys the basics of driving in the rain and how to survive it. But this is just my first impressions. And like I said, I know we're all eagerly anticipating this. You're probably wondering how your safety rating is gonna do. Hopefully, well. But um, anticipate bowling. There's gonna be a lot of it. It is really slippery. If you drive the conventional line, you're gonna struggle. So you notice that I'm kind of one lane off of the, the rubber line here, not breaking on the rubber, more, more breaking down the inside of the road, stopping the car, rotating at a slow speed and trying to accelerate off the rubber. It's just so realistic. I love it. Now let's talk about the visuals, the puddling, the reflections. I mean, it's just a step up. It looks so good for being a game that's uh, built in. Oh God. Hello. Let's get back on the track. You know, for being a platform that is so old, it actually looks really good. It performs really well. I have really stable frame rate, like 140, and I have it capped. So I'm just like doing really well on frame rate. It seems to be efficient. The rain looks good on the road. The puddling, the reflections, all that's really nice. And it's actually nice to drive because you can accurately see where to put the car. And you want to typically avoid the puddles, especially as the rain gets heavier and there's monsoon-like conditions. I mean, you can tune this to the point where we would never drive it in real life, but you can have a go at it and uh, barrel roll the car into uh, the T1 wall. But yeah, you can see how all the puddles are forming in these channels going into turn one. Just gotta be really patient with it. When you touch these puddles, you feel the car aquaplaning, but it's not to the point where it's completely out of control where you're you're losing the car. It actually gives you the ability and the chance to save it and to gather yourself back up. So it's not like you hit a puddle and you're gone forever. So you do hydroplane and it's sketchy. I'll tell you it's a lot sketchier and a lot sketchier in real life than it is in this game because you can just reset if you smash into a wall. Which and in my opinion, I think it's gonna be cool for me to be able to train and for amateur drivers or even professional drivers to use this as a tool to get comfortable and more confident in the rain. I know that um, with my teammate this year in uh, the Michelin Pilot Challenge, Bryce Ward, he's a less experienced driver getting so much quicker using iRacing as a platform. And, you know, he swears by it. He, he just can't believe how much it's helped him. And having the rain is going to help so much because we're gonna be able to simulate all different sorts of weather conditions. And no joke, the, the racing line and where you have to brake and rotate the car is very, very similar. Like I said, you hit a puddle, you don't absolutely lose the car. You can see I'm really just able to wiggle the car back and forth and, and more so, like just catch it. 
hear things understeering aquaplane like i hit these puddles and aquaplanes you feel it skipping across the front axle like here i'm gonna drive off the road no 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 i'm good i'm good gather it up gather it up but like if i touch that that puddle see how it pulls that front left tire and kind of snaps the car around if i go out here and try to accelerate on the curb you see how it slips on the curb so you want to really avoid painted lines look at this Like, being on those painted lines really does affect the grip level, which is so cool. I think they've nailed it in terms of the realism. Being out here, let's let's try to... Whoa, whoa, we saved it. Let's try to go on the painted line. You can see how slippery it is. So, the things you want to avoid, obviously, are, like, the painted lines, the rubber, especially on uh, these older circuits that have a lot of rubber buildup on them. I'm not sure... I, I'm pretty sure on newer circuits, you might be able to drive more of a conventional line. And it's just amazing that iRacing's been able to implement that into their game. I don't know. I mean, obviously, we've been waiting a long time for it, but it's um, a wait that's been well worth it, in my opinion, because I'd rather have a game or a sim that is dialed in correctly, as I go through a puddle there and you see what happens. I'd rather have the game dialed in correctly than just to have another gimmick. Like, like you know, look at that. How good is this? Driving in the puddles, you see how it pulls the car. If I drive in the puddle here, the steering wasn't working. Let me break on the rubber line, the car doesn't stop. So everything that should be happening is happening. And I really think this is going to be a game changer for everyone. Just get your safety rating ready. And <laughs> probably uh, going to need to practice a little bit. Now the thing that um, we can't see while I'm driving right now, but you can see in these uh, clips... From driving with some other content creators is that the spray is going to be nuts so driving behind other cars is incredibly realistic uh, you know everyone's gonna complain and say I can't see anything but genuinely that's how it is in the real car and that's why you hear the saying like you know people that are driving in the rain are really earning their paycheck the professionals anyway and uh, it's true like you just you're risking a lot everyone that complains saying ah these guys should be racing i promise you when you start driving this and you have no visibility you'll start having a new appreciation for what the drivers go through when they're racing around the track with a ton of spray it really is dangerous and i'm glad that we can start to simulate it here on the sim um and you know survive to tell the tale after you uh cartwheel over the fence from not seeing the car in front of you but Overall, just an incredible experience. My first impressions are very, very, uh, you know, nice, ultimately. Game is incredible. iRacing smashed it out of the park on this. Well beyond my expectations, to be honest, going in. And I'm not paid by iRacing to say any of this. Literally. I, don't, I can say whatever I want and play any game I want. And there is a good reason why I choose to do this. Has it been the best in terms of tire model in the past? No, there's definitely areas to work on, but I still find that overall, as a game, they've hit they've hit everything on on the on the head. Um, the way that the rain drives, the way you have to drive the racing line or off of the racing line because of the rubber buildup, is just spot on. The puddling, the way it pulls the car, being able to aquaplane and not crash, like or being able to recover it at least. It's just amazing. Like here, look, go through a puddle, lose the front end, absolutely no steering, but I'm able to like gather it back up and make the corner. So they've just done such a good job on that. And I can't wait to drive this more. These are just my first impressions, my raw impressions. I've, I've only done uh, one run in this just to kind of see what it's like. Now I've just taken a little bit more time to run through and give you my impressions of this. And um, I just cannot wait to play it more and I can't wait to race you guys online throughout the year with uh, this whole new weather model they call Tempest. So it feels insane. I am blown away completely. I didn't think it would be that good. You've seen other games where they've just implemented some graphical updates in terms of making the track wet, putting rain on the windshield, and it looks really good. 
in other games. iRacing actually made it look very good for what they have in terms of their, their gaming engine, but the driving experience is legit one-to-one. -one. I, I think maybe too realistic for a lot of uh, sim racers, it's gonna be an adjustment period, I think, for people to get used to how realistic it is, but I'll tell you from a racing driver point of view, and being behind the wheel of the Mercedes AMG GT3 at Sebring International Raceway in the rain, it is a one-to-one -one experience. In my opinion, even better than the way it drives in the dry. And for anyone talking about tire model or anything like that, I think all those questions go out the window. When it comes to the rain, it is the real deal. And I can't wait to see you guys barrel roll into turn one. Uh, you better kiss your safety rating goodbye or practice a lot before going into it, but it's gonna be amazing. I can't wait for you guys to try it. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Let me know if you're enjoying the rain once you get a, a chance to try it. I'm looking forward to hearing your experiences. If you like it, if you hate it, it's the same in real life. Some drivers love the rain, some drivers hate the rain. I personally love it. I always find that I excel in the rain because it's a time for you to slip and slide and to just enjoy yourself. It's a little bit more dangerous, you can't see anything, but that's what makes us kind of crazy behind the wheel. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna put a lot more rain content. If you wanna know more about driving in the rain, I could even turn it into a series. Let me know down below in the comments and ultimately I'm looking forward to hearing from you. We'll see you guys in the next video.